The level of skill that it's possible to gain in this game is by far its greatest strength. The excellent physics model allows a very fine degree of car control and this gives the player an opportunity to hone their techniques almost to perfection. This game is complicated but if you ever try to slide sideways through a turn at 50 to 60 miles per hour then you know how it feels. Speed. Hot Pursuit is a great racing game with clean, smooth graphics and solid gameplay. However, the controls are kinda buggy for PC. If you're not playing online there really isn't much to do with a single player. So there's no need in point grinding truck a single player, only for practice or because of the nice locations. It really is a modern take on the Mario Kart formula, done in a way that feels incredibly cool and refreshing. Fun arcade style racing with lots of cars and is a good way to kill 30 minutes here and there. Bad things about it are unrealistic car damage, unrealistic engine sounds and a story in campaign mode. If you are expecting a very strict driving sim then this game is not for Forza has a broad selection of cars, and its graphics are pleasing. The game also includes a number of tracks that provide a great sense of fulfillment to racing. The handling is so good, every car feels different, and you can tell the difference if you tweak or add parts on. The cars are all beautiful and all individual and there's a good mix for everyone. The ultimate automotive playground. You start off with a really crappy car in Los Angeles and slowly beat your rivals to other cars. The races are pretty challenging because it is almost impossible to gain a significant advantage over your opponents. Midnight Club 2 is just as solid as the original Midnight Club was in its day and it features a handful of improvements. Overall the game is the most difficult game I ever played but races are really challenging. An exciting arcade game that will keep you busy for a while. Very fun, challenging and rewarding. NFS2 is very enjoyable and to this day, it remains a classic. We're given 8 cars to choose from, along with that, we have 6 new courses and very good graphics for the days. 
The lack of police did not become a huge issue as the gameplay just provided all the fun I need to keep interested in this game. On the whole it's a fairly good game. A second look at the release date makes it even better. NFS 2 is an impressive sequel that I still keep fond memories of. Everything fans of the series have come to love in past games has been upgraded. Nice graphics and sounds, good gameplay, solid multiplayer and wise AI. The gameplay is fun and you really have to have some skill to manage the snow, ice, dirt and mud, especially around tight corners. I would say that it is a must play game for racing fans and drop road lovers. Another great hit from Codemasters. Both Dirt and Grid are awesome but this one is amazing. Replay is getting better. Faster loading times and extremely cool car handling, sharp car graphics, and realistic atmosphere make this F1 game a classic racer. Toka 3 sets the bar pretty high, packing in more styles of racing than any other game out there. The controls aren't terrible, the graphics are crisp but the story mode is very weak. My favorite game in the series. The storyline was brilliant. Graphics are great. Police pursuits amazing. Car selection in this game was excellent. I can't praise how much I love this game. No other Need for Speed game has come even close to being better than most wanted.